hi guys welcome back to my channel thank you for always coming back to watch my videos and if this is your first time of coming across my channel kindly subscribe and turn on the bell icon so that you get to know anytime i post a new video for my returning subscribers thank you so much so for today's tutorial i'm, I'm going to show us how to cut and sew an overlapping pleated baby girl dress so if you're interested keep on watching seven year old baby girl measurements here I have my pattern paper. I'm going to fold it now and we're going to start with the front before cutting the back which is the most important part of this tutorial. So here my paper is on fold. Like I said earlier, I'll be using a 7 year old baby girl measurement. So both length is 12 inches. This is 12 inches. I'm going to mark that and connect to a straight line okay and the next thing to mark out is the ample line now the ample measurement is six inches which is the shoulder divided by two so for me it's six i'm going to connect that to a straight line as well okay so i'm going to mark out the shoulder measurement which is also um six so this is six here and i'll mark out the same on this sample line and then i'll connect the points okay so before connecting the points i'll come down by half an inch which is for the shoulder slope okay so now i'll be marking out the neck width i'll be using three inches neck width and neck depth of um, three inches as well okay because the baby is a little chubby so i'm going to connect these points together now okay and we are almost done this is what i have left is five and half so the midpoint there is two and three quarter and at that point i will go in by half an inch and then the chest measurement is so the chest measurement is 27 27 divided by 4 is 6.75 which is here okay plus one inch for sewing allowance which is at this point and remember that i didn't add my one inch as usual for the waist area and the shoulder part and sewing allowance you can actually do that later so I'm going to connect now from that place. I'll take my ammo curve and just connect. Okay. So now the waist measurement is 26. 26 divided by, by 4 is 6.5. I hope I'm correct. Plus 1 inch for my sewing allowance. And this front is ready is easy and simple as that so i'm going to use this now to cut out the back pattern this is the neckline okay so i'll just cut it out now and then use this to cut out the back Is what I have I'm going to place it on another paper as you can see it's also on fold I will trace this out now okay so I'm going to use my pen and just trace it out and I'll cut that out two pieces of it and then we continue out i didn't want to start marking the back pattern all over all i did was just to remove my one inch for my zipper allowance and now i will mark out half an inch okay for this waist part i'm going to mark half an inch and connect it back to the point there this is half an inch now you can decide the kind of neckline that you want to do I'll be making this a deep V uh, back neckline. Okay, so I'm going to mark that out. 
this i'll be making it um say seven inches depending on how deep you want the back neckline to be if you like you can also make it six or even five you can even go as deeper as um eight or even nine okay so i'm going to take this now and connect for mine i want to give it a slight curving okay i don't want to give it a straight v cut i want to give it that slight curve okay so this is for the first one now remember that i said that you're going to cut out this in two places so now i'm going to cut this out and also cut another one that i'll be using to um, draft out the overlapping part of this back pattern okay so i'll just cut this out quickly and cut another one before we continue two of them cut out we are going to use this for the back pattern okay this will be the overlapping and this is going to be inside so before we continue i would like to let us know that our online classes are on so if you're interested to participate in any of our online classes just check the description box for a number to reach out for more details on that okay so now for this uh, v neckline you can decide to come to mark it from this end or even from the center of the armhole it depends on what you're trying to achieve okay but for me i'll go with this because there's a way i want the fitting to be at the back okay so you can always you know create your own style so now here i have my v and then for this other second one this is the overlapping one i'm going to come down by half an inch that is for the back neckline for the overlapping one so this is half an inch here i'm going to connect that now this is the point that we're working with so i'll just connect okay so that is the point the next thing to do is to mark out the chest pan because that is where you'll be connecting um, the overlapping from the neckline so here the chest pan is 6.5 half of that is three and quarter which is this point here okay so i'm going to open this up now and i'll take my straight ruler and connect from this point now to this point if you like you can also extend it to this other side depending on how open you want your overlapping to be so i'll just connect it straight to that point and i'll repeat the same on this other side this is three and quarter i'll also connect you know that is the midpoint there so i'll just connect now to this part and this is how the overlapping one is going to look so now i'm going to cut them all out and show you how it looks this is what it looks this is what we are trying to achieve now this is the v if you like you can also like i said earlier you can bring it down okay if you want the opening to be that obvious you can bring the v down so this is how you're going to place the overlapping part of this back pattern and this is how this other side is going to look so this is the look that we're trying to achieve for the back pattern now you see that it's very easy all you need to do is just to cut out the same on your lining and when you sew you join it together on the shoulder Part. that is with the front pattern okay so just try this out and you will see that it's very easy and very nice okay so that is it for today please subscribe and i'll see you all soon